Good morning, friends. Welcome to the pre-market uh, update. Uh, as we know that yesterday Nifty closed around 0.4% uh, downwards, where, as well as Sensex. Nifty was at level of uh, 7788. And uh, overall, the yesterday global markets were also global markets were up by 0.4 percent. That is, Dow Jones was up by 0.4 percent, and uh, Nasdaq was up by 0.8 percent. Uh, and the European markets, if you see, the European markets was a little weak uh, because if you see, uh, FTSE was FTSE was down around 1.2 percent. DAX was down around 1.4 percent, and CAC was also down around 1 percent. So global markets, in terms of European markets, were weak. Uh, the US markets were up and if you look at the FIA yesterday Indian markets FIA data FIA sold in cash segment 121 crores well as uh, in uh, index futures they sold around 270 crores but there was little kind of little bit of a respite from DII uh, they were a positive number of 66 crores uh, if you look at the today's morning queues uh, SGX Nifty was plus uh, 26 points and uh, yesterday there was an important data which came out from US markets was the uh, US jobless claims. Uh, that was very positive because that was sub 3 lakh, uh, so it was around 2 lakh 75 thousand which is very positive which has not come since 6 months. So this is something very positive from US markets where the global, where the US economy is definitely picking up, it, show, it is showing that kind of a signs. Today we have a very important data in Indian markets that is IIP which is expected consensus expectation is around 3.6% versus 3.8%. Now we will uh, cut across to derivatives. Good morning friends, uh, will you give analysis on derivatives. Uh, in yesterday's market uh, with negative cues from the international markets, our market also opened with a negative bias and also with a gap down opening of around 60-70 points. And uh, later on, however, it has restricted its losses, uh, and eventually, uh, and throughout the day, we have seen Nifty uh, sh showing some kind of support at lower levels and uh, uh, showing recovery at gradual intervals. However, in the last one hour of trade, we, we have seen a sharp bounce back in Nifty, and eventually, after 100, 120 points on the downside, Nifty managed to recover uh, the uh, losses on the initial part of the day, and also managed to come above the positive territory. And eventually, however, just managed to close on a flattish note of half a percentage at 7808.25. Uh, we have seen a participation in major uh, in majority of all the indices uh, 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 in all the sectors to be precise, where uh, majority of all the large cap counters uh, we have seen some kind of uh, bounce back in the last one hour of trade, which was a sharp recovery. It was like an early collapse and then late recovery. And the open interest runs, we have seen a 3 percentage build up in open interest, that is around 7 lakh shares were added in open interest uh, with a sharp increase in cost of carry, uh, which increased from 2.5% percent to 6.5% percent, which is a nifty premium, it came up from around uh, 9 points in uh, day before yesterday's uh, trading session, the premium was around 9 points and now it's currently trading anywhere near 24, 25 odd points. Uh, open interest, uh, as suggested, has seen some kind of addition of 3 odd percentage, uh, indicating a long position which has been added in, uh, by market participants in SBA trade. Only Nifty, but Bank Nifty also, we have seen some kind of long positions getting added of around 6 odd percentage. Uh, put call ratio, in line with the market uh, showing late recovery, we have seen put call ratio also increased a bit by 1 basis point from 0 0.94 to 0 0.95. However, volatility index was more or less same and have been at uh, 24.75 levels. On the options activity, not much of activity to uh, look on to it uh, to uh, get in further indication of the market. Uh, 7,900 call option have seen a higher addition of around 13 odd percentage. However, 8,500 call option in the options still remains as the highest in terms of open interest. Uh, while input option 7,700 strike price continues to add in last two to three trading sessions, we have been seeing 7,700 put option has been quite active and has been seeing a significant amount of addition. Uh, in yesterday's trade also we have seen a maximum addition of around 20 odd percentage. However, uh, still 7,500 put option remains as the highest from, uh, of open interest uh, with around 43 lakh shares in it and has seen an addition of around 3 odd percentage in yesterday's trade. Uh, so, uh, seeing the derivatives data and seeing this uh, recovery which we have seen in the uh, last one hour of trade in yesterday's trade uh, indicate and also seeing the options activity we do feel a uh, market can see a further bounce back uh, in today's trading session. Uh, where uh, seeing uh, the long position which has been built up, so market participants uh, should consider to go long at current juncture, keeping a stop loss anywhere near uh, near 7,780, 7,800 levels.
There is only one security in band period for today's trade that is century to Excel. On FIS terms in index futures, uh, there are net sellers uh, by around 273 or crores. Uh, some kind of short positions has been created by FIS and index futures as open interest of FIS and index futures did went up by around uh, 2 or 2 percentage. The index options have a net bias of 357 crores and stock futures have a net bias of 312 or crores while in stock options have a net sellers of 113 crores only. For our market level of ideas we have uh, 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 stand same at 7725 uh, with the lower range at 7725 and higher range at 7900. SX Nifty is trading positive, uh, taking positive views from the international markets. Uh, we are up by around 222 and a half points at 7843, indicating our market could also open uh, posit uh, on a positive note. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Now today's uh, trading idea, VRL Logistics, CMP401. Uh, the news is Ikra has upgraded the long-term rating of VRL Logistics from BB plus to triple B. Action to be taken is long VRL Logistics. Stop loss at 392, target 413421. Uh, now let's look at uh, news update. I, uh, news update. IIP for July is expected at 3.6%, uh, prior was 3.8%. Natco Pharma to raise up to 52 million from share sale, offer shares to, to, uh, at rupees 2130 to 2165 each. Tata Motors expects to do a business of rupees 600 crores in. JNURM Phase 2, Infosys Strategic Technology Partnership with Association of Tennis Professionals, Bell Pharma announced its foray into OTC over-the-counter segment business through its subsidiary Lifezen Healthcare Private Limited. Suven Lifezen secures five product patents, gold monetization scheme, 2% interest likely on gold deposits. Arcom Systema deal may cost six dollar six hundred million extra. Amtec Auto allots forty four point three seven lakh shares at a premium of rupees one sixty seven per share to promoters on preferential basis. Wanderla Holidays signed MOU with Tamil Nadu government to set up park in Chennai with an investment of rupees three hundred crores. MRF will invest into rupees forty five hundred crore in Tamil Nadu plants over seven years. TBS Motors signs MOU with Tamil Nadu government for Rs. 350 crore investment. Vedanta Aluminium goes for workforce reduction and cost cuts. Centre may hold, up, hold on to uh, Hindustan Zinc, Balco, Suki stakes in foreseeable future. BPCL to spend 1 lakh crore in next 5 years. Now uh, let's uh, look at uh, the watch list, the stocks with positive bias and negative bias. In positive bias we have DB's lab, Kotak, Mahindra Bank, Bharat Electronic. Whereas in, with negative bias is HCL Tech, Madhusan Sumi and Century Textile. Stock for investments are Aditya Billa Novo at 2034, Britannia at 2864, HDFC Bank at 1011, TCS at 2545, and HCL Tech at 2964. Thank you very much from my end. Happy investing.